Welcome back. I'm in our new virtual studio where on election night we will be tracking all of our local races, including Congressional District 1 on Long Island, the race pitting incumbent Republican Nick LaLota against Democratic challenger John Avalon. The district stretches from the eastern end of Long Island to Huntington and includes wealthy seaside enclaves, working class towns, and rural farm communities. Jennifer McLogan has covered this area for years and explains why this is one of the races in the tri-state area that could decide the balance of power in Washington. The first congressional district of New York begins on the east end, farmlands and beaches where flooding and coastal erosion are top of mind. We live in a district where there's a thousand miles of coastline. The wealth of the Hamptons meets western Suffolk's middle class suburban neighborhoods with residential development and bustling commercial areas. And a swing district like New York one is a perfect place for the politics of addition, not division. Journalist John Avlon left his job at CNN to run for office and has a home in Sag Harbor. The middle class squeeze, the core theme of my campaign. Nick LaLota of Amityville is seeking his second term in Congress. I'm a lifelong Long Islander, a longtime Suffolk County resident. I believe that the, the current incumbent, Nick LaLota, is far too far right for the district. I'm ranked more bipartisan than 85% of my peers. Voters want answers on housing, immigration, reproductive rights. Issues that affect the family or affect women's bodily autonomy. Grocery store prices and food safety. The economy interest rates. I believe that the decision to have an abortion should be between a woman, her doctor, and her God. I do not think the federal government should interfere with the state abortion laws. I'm Nick LaLota, and I approve this message. Just like Biden and Harris, Manhattan liberal John Avalon is wrong for Long Island. LaLota's extreme position isn't just wrong, it's dangerous. How dangerous? Ask a doctor. I'm John Avalon, and I approve this message. Both candidates hope to tap into the many independent voters here in Avalon's targeting Republicans who are dissatisfied with Trump. Avalon's married to Republican TV journalist Margaret Hoover. They know us from TV and our work uh, together. I think it's also an idea that we can disagree agreeably again. I'm done looking back. I'm looking forward. I'm building coalitions across party lines. Both agree on raising the $10,000 cap on salt, but staunchly disagree on gun control. My opponent has said we ought to lower the age to buy AR-15s here in New York. I'm a common sense conservative who both believes in the Second Amendment, but also for people to be safe. La Lota stands with Donald Trump hoping to reinstate his border policies. Avalon calls legal immigration a great renewable resource and says the fix should be bipartisan. As for the housing crisis, Avalon wants tax credits to build affordable residential housing. La Lotus says the federal government should not be involved. Uh, be it affordability, be it the border and, and crime crises, or just delivering the bacon back home for Long Island, these are some of the things I'm focused on in Congress. Let's turn a new page. Let's actually build something better on the other side of this toxic tribalism. Voters ask who can best represent their unique blend of landscapes and communities. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS News, New York.